Blinded by the Light is the tale of Javid, a college student growing up in a small town in 1980s Britain. The Cold War rages on. Reagan and Thatcher are still number one. But I'm stuck in Luton. No fun, freedom or future. Javid's dream is to become a writer, something his dad just can't understand or approve of. So, how similar was life growing up for the actor who plays Javid, Vivek Kalra? Not at all. It was totally <laughs> dissimilar. I have very supportive... Um, Parents and family, not that the you know parents and family in the film aren't supportive, um, but I think there is a sort of culture clash there. Javid writes all the time. He's never had a girlfriend before. I'm very lucky to be in a position where like I can do this job, and that's not the case for a lot of people. It wasn't the case for G when she was coming up. I love the way you referred to Gorinda as G. Yeah. It sounds like you guys have got a really nice yeah. relationship. Yeah. Did she bring you from Beecham House onto this film, or did she bring you from this film onto Beecham House? Uh, film to Beecham. I think it was sort of an easy transition to make because I just led her film. I think she probably, maybe she sort of knew she could rely on me or whatever. I know it sounds stupid and your job is as an actor to play different characters, but I mm. totally didn't realise it was you. I'd watched all the episodes of Beecham House yeah. and then I watched the film and I was like, who's the main guy? Like, yeah, he's yeah. really, I've, why have I not heard of it? And then I like Googled you afterwards and I was like, I've just seen you with a turban and a moustache yeah. for the last however many weeks. Yeah, Were yeah. there any similarities between the film and then working on the TV series or are they just totally different? Different, but in some ways the same with um, G. It doesn't really matter what part you had or what, like, the size of part you had, etc, etc, etc. So, like, we still had the same relationship mm. that we had on Beach and that we did on Blinded. It was sort of the same sort of thing. September 3rd, 1987. You've got Wham Boys, Banana Rama Girls, and then there's me. Who here wants to be a writer? The writers that I admire make a difference. The film is based on the book Greetings from Berry Park, a true-life memoir of writer Safraz Manzoor and his love for Bruce Springsteen. I didn't know music could be like that. It's like Bruce knows everything I've ever felt, everything I've ever wanted. That's what you call real music. Springsteen. How much of a blessing or a curse is it as an actor to have to play the part of somebody who's still very much alive and I imagine quite involved in the film? It's not like, it wasn't that intimidating. Um, because Saf, Safraz is not like a really well-known political figure, so it's not like I was playing Churchill or someone, you know what I mean? So it's just, which is sort of cool. So I didn't have to like, because no one knows, well, people know Saf as journalist, mm. but not many people know, like you haven't seen documentaries of Saf and him going about his personal life, you know what I mean? So it's not that sort of, it's not that sort of thing. So like, I think it was important to have like elements of Saf and there were certainly elements that I took and that he's got a certain sort of like intensity to him, which I think was really important to like bring to the character um, because when he's not laughing and singing about Bruce, he is deadly serious about his love for Bruce Springsteen. But I was very much aware of the fact that like, and G told me this early on, you can't base this on Saf now because <laughs> otherwise I'd be doing an impression of a 48, 48 year old Pakistani man, um, <laughs> which would be like super odd. <laughs> I want to be a writer. Writing isn't a job. I need you to do more. I can't wait to get away from here. Did you get to spend, or did you have to do a bit of method acting, maybe with like Saf's parents, or live a bit of time in Luton, get I, the feel of it? Not really, no. But I, what I did was I did go to Luton. So Saf took me to Luton and showed me his first house he grew up in, this next house he grew up in. It was amazing. Um, and he like took us around, and then we met up with um, Aaron, who plays Roops, and... Amalak, who is the real Roops, and we went and sat down in a cafe in the Arndale Centre in Luton, um, a cafe called Greenfield, which we actually shot in, in, in the film. And we had this weird sort of moment where we were both sitting opposite each other, and it was just the weirdest thing ever. So it's like a younger version of Saf and a, a younger version of Amalak. I hope to build a bridge to my ambitions, but not a wall between my family and me. The music, the possibilities. I want to taste it all for myself. Right across the city, playing nothing but the best in music from around the world. 24 hours a day. Your